Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Zima from Holloway Manti, and today I want to show you these two mini claw machines that I picked up. Um, I've been watching eBay for a while about these claw machines, and finally it came to a point where the price is pretty reasonable for the for these machines. There are, I think I paid about $440 a piece, which um, to me wasn't too bad. Um, I ended up buying two because um, the location I'm going to put it at it just seems a little awkward just having one completely by itself um, because they're so small. I just feel like it'd be so easy to tip over and whatnot. So I bought two and basically they're going to be bolted down to um, a pillar, which um, won't be this table. Um, I'll actually make a really nice white um, stand for it. And then it'll actually have two bill validators in there. So I ordered those. So I'll have to make another video showing the completion of that. Um, but yeah, it'll have the bill validators. Because most people carry around cash anyway. Not a lot of coins. So, you know, if someone wants to play and they don't have coins, you know, you're potentially losing money. So the, the money that's spent on the bill validators, usually they're about 200 bucks a piece, are, is definitely worth it. Uh, so especially in the location I'm at, I noticed when I added a bill validator to one of my machines, it tripled the amount of, uh, money it was getting. So anyway, I just wanted to do, um, do wanted to show the machines off here. Um, I took the casing off the front cause I wanted to show you this. It's pretty cool. Um, you can see there's little miniaturized, uh, switches. And then you can see, you know, how the pulley is on there. It's, it's all miniaturized. So it's kind of cool. Um, cause I have other claw machines, I have, you know, larger claw machines and, uh, yeah, it's just kind of neat to see everything miniaturized. I just hope the motors, cause they're small. I mean, I don't know if they're just cheap or I don't, you know, who knows, but I really hope it all holds up for at least a couple years so I can, you know, do a decent profit, which I'm sure I, I will in a matter of months, but, uh, you know, it would be nice if they, uh, worked for a long time. I know the gantry replacement's about a hundred dollars. So I wouldn't want to have to do that. I wouldn't like to have to do that for a while. Um, and it's got these little coin necks here. I'm kind of not happy about them. They're yellow, which doesn't uh, really match the look. Um, I was hoping they'd be silver like the pictures, but you know, what can you do? They work well. Um, basically, uh, it comes with some tokens, um, but you can switch it to to quarters basically there's a there's a dummy coin in there and you have to put a 25 cent piece or whatever um in there in the slot and then it'll know um what to take and then they got the little coin door here got a couple tokens in already um came with one key and they're all keyed alike so this key matched with this key when i got it from that particular seller um but anyway, I'll uh, do a playthrough. Uh, this machine is set up a little rigged, and this one should pick it up every time if I'm good. So basically, the rigged part of this is when it goes down, it'll do a you know a decent hard grab, and as it goes up, it'll kind of, in a sense, let go. Um, the the trick as an operator is um, you have to make a profit. Um, but you definitely don't want to make it too obvious that the the claw had opened. Um, but you have to set a you know a certain payout for how much you paid for the prizes. Usually, I, usually I like to double my money on on the toys, and that just only makes sense. So you can have it set. Maybe it pays out every four or five times, or even ten times, depending on the prizes. You know, we got these cheap rubber duckies in here; they're like nineteen cents. So you can just have um, you know the payout. At, you know, a couple bucks each time. So a little kid wins something eventually. <laughs> so anyway, put the coin in, music starts. I have it set so when you only put money in, the music will start and that's a setting you can turn it on or off. Um, Cause otherwise it'll play almost ambient music when it's not being played and it's super annoying. So there we go, oh, I lost. Let me try another one. I have it set at 25 cents, but you can have, I, I believe you can do up to nine coins uh, per play, but obviously I don't think you'd want to do that. So there we go. There's a win. 
And there's a prize sensor too. It's right there. So you can, it let, you know, it makes a sound or, you know, hooray when you win. Um, and then I'm sure it counts it because uh, there's also an audit uh, section in here. And I'm going to do another video going over everything in here when we open this up and go through the settings so I can explain everything to you just in case uh, you bought one or you, you're thinking about buying one. So here's the rigged claw machine. And you'll see what I mean when I say rigged. Um, depending on, I don't know what number it is on right now. It could pick it up, it could not. I don't know. There it goes. <laughs> so <laughs> you can see it dropped. And it's supposed to, you know, in a sense, give the illusion that you almost had it, so you put more money in. These uh, rubber duckies are actually surprisingly hard to get, even on the non-rigged one. Because um, the claw is just a hair too small. Um, I ordered a bunch of little plushes, little keychain plushes, so I'll be getting those in soon and I'll do another video. But um, till then, um, this is what I have for you guys now. So I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this is helpful to anyone that might want to purchase one of these and they needed this video to help boost them to that purchase. They're definitely worth it. 400 $40 for a brand new claw machine. Um, usually I can get a large claw machine, you know, used for $400, but then you got to deal with, you know, problems and this is brand new. So you might not have to deal with problems for a while, you know, because it is a claw machine after all, it's a vending machine and they'll need maintenance. Um, but if you buy this for your house, like just for yourself, you know, it'll probably last a really, really long time. But if you have this at a location, It'll definitely need um, some tweaking here and there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Take care.